Okay, to, today is the 25th of October, and as you see, uh, I have tried to straighten up the uh, Brussels sprouts. And I may harvest a few. Um, who knows what is this white flies here? It's little white flies. Are they harmful? I see a lot of little holes here. Is it because of a sl slug and a snails or is it because of these little white flies? Okay, now I'm just building a simple fruit cage for our um, Brussels sprouts. So four poles, metal poles you can be using in wood. And some canes that I have. And uh, if the cane is short, you can just join two together. So they will compensate. So one side reaches this side. The other short one reaches this side. In the middle, you join them together. And uh, then you just tie them. You can use uh, twine. You can use wire also to strengthen it. And uh, so, practically, to give it extra strength, I use two. And if anything poking out, you can just cut it. Snap it by this. And that's it. That's done. Uh, the final result... Uh, I can show you when it is done. It is now done. Uh, the cover, as you can see here, the Brussels sprouts are safe inside from the elements and from the birds. And what I've done here is uh, I use uh, I didn't have one piece of the thing to cover the whole thing, so I used two pieces to cover partly. Uh, so I tied them with a cable uh, with some wire. You can use cable tie if you have. This will be our latch to close the place. This will be another thing. Uh, I have also done here the same. Four corners, all of them have this, and here also just to stop it from the wind blowing into it. Another piece of wire. So, this is done. What I may do next is to get some little stones or any weight, like uh, nuts, bolts, or whatever, and attach them to a piece of a string and tie them to these skirts, edges of the net. So give it a little bit of weight so the wind will not blow it. At the moment I don't have that so I, it has to wait.